Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be covering a project that's been recently getting decimated. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. So the project I'm going to be covering today is called Algorand. The ticker is Algo. I covered Algorand just under two weeks ago and it was trading at a price of about 16 cents. It is currently trading at just over 14 cents. According to CoinMarketCap, it is currently ranked 42 among all cryptocurrencies. It currently has a market cap of just over 1 billion, a max supply of 10 billion, and a circulating supply of 7.2 billion. That's about 72% in circulation. Those are very solid tokenomics compared to a lot of projects. During the 2021 bull market, Algorand hit a price point of about $2.30. Now Algorand is another competitive layer one project that has supposedly solved the blockchain trilemma of scalability, security, and decentralization. It is a self-sustained, decentralized blockchain-based network that supports a wide range of applications. These systems are secure and scalable and efficient, all critical properties for effective applications in the real world. Algorand will support computations that require reliable performance guarantees to create new forms of trust. And Algorand's mainnet went live in June of 2019. Now, a big reason that Algorand has been getting a lot of publicity recently is because Gary Gen back in 2019 said that he really liked the technology and now he's calling it a security. So that means obviously like XRP, most likely heavy price manipulation and the SEC may end up actually coming after Algorand. If Algorand were to get sued, theoretically, if it wins that case, it could skyrocket. Now, something that separates Algorand for me is Silvio McCauley. He won the Turing Award in 2012 for his fundamental contributions to the theory and practice of secure two-party computation, electronic cash, cryptocurrencies, and blockchain protocols. This makes him one of the foremost creators of crypto in the world. Another reason I'm bullish on Algorand is because in 2022, they had a total funding amount of $132 million, which is obviously going to help them build their ecosystem throughout the entire bear market. A lot of layer ones have died because they don't have funding. And obviously, I have to point out that Algorand is one of eight coins to be ISO 2022 compliant, which allows them to work alongside central banks and work with the financial sector, which in my opinion gives them an advantage over most other cryptos. Algorand's Twitter has 335,000 followers. Now, a big reason I'm making this this video today is because of the Algorand beta net 3.16. Feel free to pause the video and look at what's new, but the big thing I want to point out is that round times are reduced by 400 milliseconds. As you guys know, everything in crypto revolves around speed. Obviously, you want security, you want decentralization, but if a blockchain is not fast, it's not going to succeed. You look at the way that Web2 and just the internet is in general right now, if you try and buy something online, you don't have a transaction that takes 15 seconds, 30 seconds to complete. So the fact that Algorand is doing everything it can to improve the speed is huge. They also have weekly dev videos. Overall, just as you guys can see, Algorand is still extremely active. They are posting every single day on Twitter, keeping their community up to date. Honestly, the biggest thing I'm just seeing is overall marketing. When I look at Algorand, Algorand versus a project like HBAR, I just see HBAR and I see the community a lot more frequent than I see Algorand. I'm not saying Algorand doesn't market, but compared to some of these other layer ones, personally, I think that's an area they could improve, but still they are building every single day of the bear market. And I love that. And talking about the speed of Algorand, they are fast, 6,000 transactions per second and a 3.6 second settlement finality. They also run carbon zero, which again is very big because you look at all the problems with Bitcoin right now, everyone complains about the mining and how it's not energy efficient. Algorand is carbon zero, so you don't have that issue. They're secure, they're decentralized. Some of their featured projects are like Vendable, Lofty, Pact, Algify, Crypto Slam. So as for how high I think Algorand could go. So obviously Shiba Inu is in competition to become the number one meme coin. Obviously Dogecoin is in that position right now, and some people think Pepe may overtake Shiba Inu. But during the 2021 bull run, Shiba Inu reached a market cap of $43.5 billion. That's a meme coin. It has no utility. And yes, some of you guys are going to talk about some use cases, whatever. But the reality is the use cases are nowhere near as strong as Algorand's. I don't think anyone can argue that. And as we discussed, Algorand has a market cap of just over 1 billion. Now, if you go to market cap up, theoretically, if Algorand were to reach the market cap of Shiba Inu at its all-time high, it would be sitting at a price point of $5.70, which would be about a 38x. Now, obviously, with the SEC breathing down Algorand's neck, it is not easy for Algorand to skyrocket. But if they can clear some stuff up and continue to grow and just market more, I don't 
don't see any reason it can't reach around what Shiba reached, especially if Bitcoin's trading at 100K, 150K. And then you have Solana that reached $77 billion. And I think Algorand, HBAR, some of these layer one projects are better than Solana. But I'm curious, let me know down in the comments, how high do you guys think Algorand could reach next bull run? Now for the final part of this video, I'll get into a little bit of technical analysis. So when you look at Algorand on the weekly timeframe, the stochastics are extremely oversold and the RSI is extremely oversold. You can't really pull a Fibonacci. The reality of the situation is that Algorand has gotten absolutely destroyed. It is essentially like the 2021 bull market never even happened for Algorand. Not from a growth standpoint, but from a price standpoint, you have an amazing opportunity to buy Algorand right now, if you believe in it long-term. Personally, I will begin accumulating it. I love the low stochastics and the low RSI on the weekly timeframe. But keep in mind, everything right now is tied to Bitcoin for the most part. If Bitcoin pumps, there's a good chance Algorand will pump. If Bitcoin dumps, there's a good chance Algorand will dump. And now saying that, I know Bitcoin has pumped a little bit and Algorand hasn't really pumped. But still, Algorand's fundamentals hold true. It's a very fast, scalable, secure, decentralized, proof-of-stake blockchain. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments, how do you guys feel about Algorand? Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thank you guys for watching. I'm hitting the ground running up and coming. Ain't nothing. Yeah, rookie of the year. I'ma keep it 100. Cold-blooded. No budget from nothing to something. I ain't bluffing. I got a full hand and a full plan. I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top, man. Every single drop got me feeling awesome. I'm